What's up everybody? Welcome back to Mohawk Motors. My name is Jason. Today I've got a little electrical project. Uh, the common problems here that I'm going to try to address. I am no, by no means like a circuitry or electronics expert, but this seems simple enough that I'm going to give it a try and I'll show you guys too because like I said it's it's a common problem and being able to correct this yourself will probably I mean it'll, I know it'll make me feel better it'll probably make you feel better too so let me show you what we're working on boom <laughs> little Halloween joke so uh, what I'm working on is getting all the backlighting to work and a gauge cluster an HVAC control and a dimmer switch. Now these are for, they'll fit a 99 to 02 uh, Chevy or GMC full size truck or SUV. So Silverado, Sierra, Suburban, Yukon, Tahoe, uh, Yukon Denali, all those type of things. These are components out of those trucks. Now these are a donor set. Uh, I wanna try to fix these, get all the light bulbs changed so all the backlighting works, and then put them into my 2002 2500HD. I've been doing some reading and been doing some research online, and these seem much less complicated to do than the 03 to 07 classic style clusters. And I'm gonna start on these, uh, what I think will be the simplest to most challenging job. Uh, and the simplest, I believe, is going to be my dimmer switch here. So the dimmer on the back has this little round part here. That actually is, can you see that right there? That is actually the, I'll call it the light bulb holder, and the light bulb is in there, so I'm just going to take that one out and replace it with a new one that I got. So for this, small flathead screwdriver, twist counterclockwise, and then a couple little taps and it should come out. There it is. Voila. And this one is definitely bad. So here's my new one. And I ordered this from caraudiobulbs.com, which the prices seemed reasonable, and he got it to me quickly. So put the new one back in there. Twist into place, and boom, that one should be done. Easy peasy. Uh, the old one here, you can see, see how it's blackened and burnt just below that blue part? That's a really good indicator that the bulb itself is burnt out on top of the fact that I had this in a truck, I know that it didn't work, so I know everything else works. The light switch, the dimmer switch, all of that does what it's supposed to do, so I just needed a new bulb. Now that one's ready, cock blocked and ready to rock, so to speak. The next thing I want to do is the gauge cluster. Now this is a little bit more in depth, but still not crazy difficult. But for this, the first thing we need to do is get this plastic cover off the back. I really want to try to do this without breaking it. which doesn't seem like it'll be too, too difficult, but we are dealing with 20 year old plastic here. So gentle is the name of the game and patience, which is not always my forte. Got that off, no damage, no harm. And then we have 
all these little guys on the back here. These are all your, your backlight bulbs. So I have new ones that twist them out, take it out. And the new one twists back in. And just keep in mind, you are dealing with a printed circuit board here. So, again, be gentle. And now that I have these out, I will go through and test them. Make sure that they're all... Well, excuse me. As I take these old ones out, it'll be easy enough for me to test them and verify which ones are burnt out and which ones are not. So I'll do that afterwards. And by the way, I think I misspoke. I think I said 411. These are 194 bulbs, not 411. Okay. Alright, I think those are all good. Now I've got, I did not get replacements for these, but all the little, your other little bulbs for things like your turn signal indicators, uh, four wheel drive engaged, stuff like that, those are up here also. So, now I'll just replace my little cover snaps into place <laughs> and I screwed up I gotta take it back off and vertical because this rear cover actually kind of acts as a lock to hold them in place. There we go. Okay, that should have all of those bulbs working now. And all the gauges already work. Now, the most complicated of the batch is this guy, the HVAC controls. So I've got some small bolts over here on the back that I need to take out. I guess they're screws. What side? So I've got these four quarter inch screws that need to come out to be able to separate the front piece from the back piece. And then I'm pretty sure it just like pops apart. Oh, we need to get the knobs off. That's right. The knobs just pull straight out. There we go. And then it comes right off. And now we have two pieces here. We have a small circuit board attached to the front piece, also with little quarter inch screws. 
to look to be the exact same as the ones that hold the two halves together. We'll set that aside. And then we have our main circuit board here. Which looks like it's just held in with some little little retainers clips if you will try to get this out without hurting it there it is so there's our little printed circuit board here right so in the bottom part we have one two three little bulbs that can be replaced and then the top we have one two three four that can be replaced now these they are soldered to the board so I'm gonna get my soldering iron and see if we can't get these little little babies out of here without causing ourselves any nightmares or headaches or anything else uh, like I said I am not an expert electrical stuff person so we'll see if I can do this without messing it up I did watch a couple of videos of some guys doing these and it seems that if you just tap your soldering iron enough to warm the solder on the back side of the board you can slowly rock the little light bulbs out so that's what I'm gonna try to do once my soldering iron is heated up. This is the part that I'm super nervous about. This is very intricate solder work compared to what I'm used to and comfortable with. So we will see how it goes. now let's see here oh there it went it just wiggled wiggle Hey! Alright, got the first one out. Uh, doesn't look like I screwed up the board. Alright, one down. Many, many minutes later. Okay. Alright, so there's all our old bulbs out. Now get the new ones in now I watched a couple of videos and some people say just kind of do the reverse when you're putting them in and some people say heat it first poke a needle through and make sure your holes are open but uh, I think I'm just gonna try like doing it in the reverse and see see how it goes. Alright, so possibly herein lies the challenge. Not so much getting it apart, but getting it back together. A little longer than a few minutes later. Right, I think I might have it on that one. Huh. I'm just going to try to do it again. Several more times. Oh my.
Hey, how's it going, man? Good. I'm pretty sure I messaged you about 14 volt like a month ago. All right, I'm back. Uh, let's see. Where were we? All right, second bulb. I'm trying to get this one in. Mm -hmm. There must be a trick to this. What am I doing wrong here, folks? 20 minutes later. Okay. I think I've got all these bulbs soldered on. Now I just need to trim off the extra, the extra poking off the back. And then I'll see if I can't find how to, how to test these. Yeah, I told her she could take them. See if I can test this before I put it back together to make sure all those lights are working. Nope, she asked first. Thank you. Daddy. Yeah, Celebi. Leave it there, Holden. Holden, no thank you. I can get this back. Okay. Can I? Oh, uh, I can hold you. Two diamonds. No, leave my screws there, please. Why? Because I need them to put this back together. Can I pretend to hold one? No, I need them to put it back together, sweet girl. Come on, buddy. But what can I hold? Go on with mommy, guys. I'm trying to make a video. Okay. <laughs> Video. Yeah, video. <laughs> <laughs> Dad, Come you remember I, I had these. Dad, do you remember one. I had these? Yeah, Come you here. can take those. Come on. I will Come on, Come on, honey. Oh, I Come in. Come in. All right, I'm going to put this all back together. And then we'll, uh, once it gets dark, we'll put it in the truck and dry it. All right, everybody. Well... It's a little while later, got everything put back together. Uh, it's dark out now, so let's go out and see if I successfully replaced all those bulbs. All right, so let's see. Turn lights on. All right, there we go. Hey, hey. I've got all my backlighting and my gauge cluster lit up. Excellent. We got all my lighting and my HVAC controls illuminated. Let's see if it's got my little LED for out, outside air in, LED for recirculate, and for AC. So everything working over there, that's outstanding. And my headlight controls. All right. I'll be honest, the headlight controls and the dash, I wasn't too worried about. I knew those would, those would more than likely be fine. The HVAC controls, I was a little nervous about. But, hey. I did it successfully. That's awesome. It's the first time I've attempted to remove and replace bulbs that required soldering into the board. Um, if I were to give any tips, I would say definitely make sure you have a good soldering iron that gets nice and hot and make sure it has a fine pointed tip on it. Switching over to that pointed tip made a huge difference. Um, I don't know if I would have been successful getting the new bulb soldered in without it. So super excited that that went as well as it did and that I was actually successful. And uh, the light bulbs in the in the gauge cluster also relatively easy. I may uh, in a future video attempt to do a later style cluster in 03 to 06 now that I've tried it on the earlier cheaper HVAC controls the later style clusters have you have to solder in well I guess 
unsolder and then solder in new lights if you have lights that are out in those so maybe i'll attempt that in a future video but i'm super excited i like uh that i can see all my gauges now that i can see my headlight controls and that i can see my hvac controls important things to be able to see if you're going to drive at night and uh I'm kind of OCD and a bit of a perfectionist about my vehicles, and I want everything that's supposed to work to work. So, one more thing checked off the list. I hope you enjoyed, team. Uh, I hope you find this helpful. Like I said, this is a super common problem. I got to tell you, nine out of every ten of these vehicles that I part out at least have one or two or three of the backlight bulbs burnt out. So, super common. This will show you, like I said, I've never done it before. If you have the tools and patience, I, I believe just about anybody can do it. So, hope you enjoyed. Hope this helps. Thank you so much for watching. And until the next video, everybody, take care.